What is perhaps most extraordinary about the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is that whatever it says is accepted as gospel by the conventional media and the conventional medical industry. FDA receives 40% of their budget from drug companies, and it's been this process where slowly but surely drug companies have gotten their hooks into FDA deeper and deeper. You have whistleblowers and you have former FDA staff members and employees who have come out and said that it's absolutely understood that FDA works for drug companies, they work for device companies, they work for the companies who pay their paychecks. But it's even worse than that. The FDA also stacks its panels its advisory panels with people who have strong financial ties to the drug companies themselves. So the FDA might, might form a panel on whether a certain vaccine should be approved because there's a certain epidemic that's expected to occur, for example. But the FDA won't reveal that the experts on that panel, usually 80% of them have some kind of financial ties, if not direct ties, actually taking money directly from the drug companies themselves. Some researchers have been shown to be unethical and there have been studies where documents have been altered where uh, subjects who did not fit the criteria were enrolled in trials. Studies that were put together for, for the new antipsychotics that were submitted to get these drugs approved. There were two doctors down in Georgia. They ended up in prison they were down there doing these studies, just bogus clients and not reviewing the studies right, just taking all the money, uh, supposed to be running it through a, a university, but really having a practice on the side and doing it. And the patients that they were enrolling in these studies were not qualified to be in the studies. I mean, just all kinds of things wrong. But yet the FDA approved those antipsychotics with studies from these guys, and they ended up sitting in prison. The FDA didn't do anything and say, well, we can't, you know, we got to pull that approval because... You know, it was fraudulent studies that got it approved.